Hey guys, I am struggling to make this video. I made about four of them already that I had to delete. So uh, let's try and do this one. Whatever happens, happens, you know the deal. So this video is a follow up on my previous DHEA video. I made a uh, DHEA video a few months ago talking about the benefits of it. So uh, since I was not on it at that time, I couldn't talk about uh, side effects. So I've been on DHEA for the past two and a half months, I think. And uh, I am ready to uh, talk about all the side effects I've been feeling over the past couple of weeks. So anyway, I bought this DHEA at the beginning of July and uh, in July I was on Clomid. I uh, couldn't take DHEA at that time because they say you cannot take DHEA and Clomid at the same time so uh, I was not on it so uh, that cycle was a bust so right after I started my uh, period I started taking DHEA and I was taking only 50 milligrams a day mine the capsules are 50 milligrams, but you can buy DHEA with 25 milligrams capsules. So I was taking 50 milligrams a day and everything was pretty dandy. I was fine. I did not have any problem whatsoever. I felt like my normal self. So uh, I uh, did uh, DHEA for that month. I um, did not get pregnant. And I started a new Clomid cycle that was last month. And while I was on Clomid, I stopped taking DHEA. Remember, I was taking it for a month before. I did not have any problem whatsoever. And uh, after I uh, did my Clomid cycle, which I did not turn into a you know, pregnancy, I started taking DHEA again. So since I started my period, or probably even before that, because I already knew I was not pregnant because my cervix was open and all this craziness, so I started taking DHEA. So I went crazy. What I did, I started taking one capsule a day, 50 milligrams, and the next day I will go for 100 milligrams. I'll skip a day, take 50, and the following day I will take... Uh, 100 so I was taking 50 milligrams a day the next day 100 the following day 50 the next day 100 uh, um, milligrams I was not taking 100 every day I was taking 100 milligram every other day and oh my god guys this is the part where I have to talk to you openly and honestly since I've been taking 100 milligram of uh, the HEA, I started having pain in my hoo-ha. I heard about it. I heard they say when you're taking too much HEA, uh, your clitoris will be uh, enlarged, will this, will that, and uh, oh my God. And I was very surprised because it's not the kind of pain that would alarm you that would make you go to the hospital, but it's the kind of pain that makes you go, whoa, what the hell? So it felt like my, uh, you know, thing was engorged with blood. When I touch it, it's fine. It's not swollen, it's not bigger, it's not smaller, it's nothing, and it, but it just feels like it is swollen. So I said, what is going on? Especially when I wore jeans, I could feel it. So I stopped taking uh, the 100. I kept on going with 50 milligrams. And after a couple of days, the pain went away. I was fine. So... I wanted to know for sure if it was because of the 100 milligram. So I started taking the 100 milligram a day. So right after I started, I don't know, two days, three days after I started taking 100 milligram again, I started with the same pain again. So, I mean, it doesn't take a genius to find out, hey, this is the 100 milligrams. When I take 50, I'm fine. When I take 100 milligram, everything changed. So... 100 milligrams done with it 
So the other side effects I am going through with DHEA is acne. I have never had acne like this in my life. It's not a lot, just a couple, but it's big. You can see this mother from where you are. It's, it's a big one, it's red and it hurts a little bit. And I have a couple of them here. Usually I'll have maybe one acne once in a while. I do not have acne. Even when I went through puberty, I never had acne. I never had breakouts. My face is always the way it is, no acne. So that's number two, which is water under the bridge, a little bit of acne, it's fine. My uh, ovaries started to feel like a burning sensation for the past, I don't know, three, four, five days. You know, before you ovulate, you feel a little pain here and there, you know, but it's different. It's both of my ovaries. Usually I ovulate on my right side but this time i am on cycle day 12 i can feel the pain in both my ovaries it's really really burning burning sensation it doesn't last long maybe i don't know 10 15 seconds then i'll start again maybe after a couple of hours so i'm not sure if this is because of dhea but i have a feeling it's probably is but what it feels like it feels like when you overstimulate your ovaries I have never overstimulated my ovaries but I have a feeling how it would feel it will feel like you know before ovulation you'll have this little dull pain in your ovaries it's probably multiplied by 20 for people who overstimulate so uh, it's not that bad for me but it feels like Ovulation pain multiplied by five or two. So it's not too bad, but it's different. So th these are the side effects that I am dealing with. And uh, I will never take 100 milligrams. I am very surprised that it happens to me because usually I am the one preaching people do not take more than you need because you never know, you know, more is never better. But for some reason, I don't know why I went overboard. It happens. So I learned my lesson. Now I will take only 15 milligrams of DHEA. And one other thing with DHEA, guys. DHEA is the kind of hormone your adrenal glands make. DHEA may not be good for everybody because if you already have enough DHEA, the level is right if you take too much DHEA, it will start to produce project, um, testosterone. We do produce testosterone as women, but not a lot like men. So when you start producing more testosterone, your voice will start going deeper and you'll start having uh, facial hair. And, uh, you know, we're looking to have a baby. We're not looking to have beers. So uh, that is my update slash follow-up of DHEA. I have nothing bad to say about DHEA. Nothing, absolutely nothing. I am paying for my stupidity. That's it, that's all. If I stayed with the 50 milligrams, I wouldn't have any problems. So ladies, if you're thinking of doing DHEA, I suggest you go with the lowest dose as possible. Start with 25 and you go up from there. You can go to 50, but I would advise you never to go past 75 milligrams a day because I learned my lesson. So this is my follow-up video on DHEA. I will make a video pretty soon, probably tonight, about my cycle, what is going on. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Ciao.